Hello YouTube! It's been about a week and a half since my last video and there have been quite a few updates in both Wrath Classic, Classic Classic, a little bit of a hardcore update, BlizzCon announcement, like there's there's just a lot going on right now and this is just World of Warcraft, uh, well Classic, I'm not covering retail, but there's so much going on with Blizzard Activision, of course always, aside from legal troubles and all that. I'm talking about Diablo and um, there's been some Overwatch news lately, but I'm I'm not gonna get into that, we'll save that for the other content creators who focus on that content, but in this video I do want to cover the classic World of Warcraft related news, as I said that has kind of occurred over the past week and a half. So I'm gonna start with Wrath Classic, and the big news with Wrath Classic is that arriving June 20th is gonna start the new patch Call of the Crusade. Now what's included in Call of the Crusade? We're gonna have new Titan Rune Dungeons, Defense Protocol Beta, and basically the description is, you know, higher level difficulty dungeons. A lot of people call these Heroic Plus, but the final boss from the Defense Protocol Beta is gonna award a new currency, and that's called the Sidereal Essence. And Sidereal Essences can be exchanged for rewards from 10 player heroic mode Ulduar gear at the animated constellation vendor in Dalaran, which is where I am right now on the PTR. Uh, just to show you, you know, it's in this area in Dalaran, the Silver Enclave, where you purchase all the other heroic and vendor heirloom equipment and all that. So the constellations right here in the corner, we have these sidereal essences and all the gear that you can purchase. So for example, the sword that I use on my paladin is... Where is it? Aesir's Edge. And that's off 10-man hard mode XT Constructor. All of these weapons here, all, I mean all of this gear, is from 10-man hard mode Ulduar. So this is pretty neat, a little bit of a catch-up mechanic for people who are doing heroic pluses but don't necessarily have Ulduar 10-man hard mode gear. They could catch up by uh, purchasing some gear here. And it's interesting to see Crusader orbs here. These are basically the new ruined orbs that you would get in Ulduar, but these are going to be used for crafting and professions and all that, so those can also be purchased with Sidereal Essences. Alright, so we mentioned the new Sidereal Essence currency that's coming on June 20th with Call of the Crusade. So what else is included in Call of the Crusade? Well, we're going to have the Crusader's Colosseum, which is currently under construction, and you can do a bunch of daily quests there. But if you travel there after June 20th, you'll see that the Colosseum is complete. And with it are two new dungeons. Now, one is called Trial of the Champion, and that's a five-player dungeon. The raid is called Trial of the Crusader and Trial of the Grand Crusader for the heroic version, and those are opening on June 22nd at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So I guess we'll be seeing a race to world first again. The funny part is that these raids don't have any trash, so it's gonna be like boom boom boom, kill a boss, move on to the next one, kill a boss. So I think this is gonna be a really short race, but still, these races are always fun to watch. It's cool to see how prepared the raiders are and how quickly they can clear it. We're also gonna have more daily quests from the Argent Tournament, Wrath of the Lich King PvP Season 7 begins, and we're gonna have level 80 on Nixia's Lair. Very interesting. And in other Wrath news, the Joyous Journeys buff has returned. Joyous Journeys increases all experience gains by 50%. It's going to be live on the Wrath Realms until June 19th, which is the day before Call of the Crusade launches. So you have a little under a month to level alts if you're interested on the Wrath servers. Now for those of you who are interested in leveling without this buff, you could visit any innkeeper in capital cities and Dalaran to turn the experience buff on or off. And it's only on the Wrath Classic servers as a reminder. So if you are playing Classic Era, don't worry, this buff is not there. Alright, and to wrap up the Wrath news, this might be the biggest piece of news that we've had besides maybe the Phase 3 announcement, but the WoW token is now available on Wrath of the Lich King Classic Realms. To access it, you basically hit the escape key, you go to your shop, and you'll see their services and then WoW token tab on the left there. So there it is, featured WoW token. It can be sold on the auction house for gold. The auction buyer can then redeem it for 30 days of game time. This token may not be traded or redeemed. It may only be listed for sale on the auction house. So the current auction value is 11,274 gold subject to change for $20. 
which is very interesting because this morning or this afternoon when it first launched it was at about 10,000 so the cost has gone up a little bit um, on my server. This is always a big topic of conversation, debate among the player base. Honestly, I don't know if this is going to be a hot take, but I'm not surprised that they did this. I mean, people are buying gold in this game from third party sites illegally. It kind of makes sense from a business standpoint why Blizzard wouldn't do this. Why wouldn't they want the money in their pocket? They know it's happening. They know we have these gold farmers, these bots running rampant, and they're collecting all the money that people are paying real money for. So why not implement the WoW token so that they can make some money off of this and I bet you they are going to see quite a bit of a profit from implementing this token in the Wrath Classic realms. Now I'd love to hear what everybody thinks about this. Like I said, it always is a hot topic of debate. I can't see them ever adding this to Classic Era realms, but again, I'm not surprised it's in Wrath. Alright, and moving on to Classic Era, we have a message from our friend Agrand, who seems to be around a lot lately. I mean, I'm sure he's always around, but we seem to be hearing from him a lot more lately, is what I mean. But anyway, Agrand basically announced that the PvP honor system is going to be completely reset with the next update to Classic Era Realms, which is essentially going to be patch 1.14.4, and signify the launch of official Hardcore Realms. Now this update is probably going to come sometime in the summer, because that's when they said the Hardcore servers are coming out. Basically, if you're in the middle of ranking right now, you might want to reconsider, you might want to maybe stop, or try to finish up. If you're able to finish up, we're probably at least a month or two away from Hardcore servers. Probably more on the side of two months at the least, because we haven't even gotten the PTR yet. Now, the announcement was made about a week and a half ago that we were getting official hardcore servers, and at that point they said the PTR would be up several weeks from then. We haven't gotten any updates on the PTR just yet. PTR testing will probably run for at least a month or two, and then I could foresee the official hardcore servers launching again sometime mid-summer, maybe like end of July, August. That's my prediction. Now they're basically saying in addition to the Hardcore Realms, this patch is going to include a large update to the vanilla PvP honor system for all Classic Era Realms. It kind of sounds like they're doing a complete overhaul of the system, which I'm really interested to see. I mean, think about the original vanilla PvP ranking system. It's kind of toxic. Like, if you want to get to High Warlord or Grand Marshal, you really have to no-life it for several months non-stop every day. It's pretty intense. Pretty hardcore, no pun intended. Maybe they'd take away some kind of DK? Could you imagine if they take away a DK system? Maybe they would make it require still a ton of time to reach rank 14, but there would be no DK so that you can take a day off. You can take a week off. Curious to hear what you guys think. How do you think the classic era PvP system is gonna change? Alright, and lastly, we finally got dates for BlizzCon. It's coming this year, 2023, on November 3rd and 4th. So this is pretty exciting. It's been four years since the last BlizzCon. I'm definitely going to go, assuming I can get tickets, but I'm planning on going. I'd love to hear if any of you are planning to go and what your expectations for BlizzCon are. Oh, also Con Before the Storm, which is the day before BlizzCon at the Hilton. That's always a fun event. I assume they're going to be doing Con Before the Storm this year. I actually had a meet and greet at the last Con Before the Storm, and that was really cool to meet people from all over the place, from YouTube, from Twitter, from Twitch, from in-game, just, just coming up to the booth and being like, hey, I'm so-and-so. That was just a surreal experience and super fun. Um, I don't know if I'll do another meet and greet. Hey, you never know. Alright, if you made it this far, thank you so much for tuning in. You know what to do. Hit the like button if you like the video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.